What's up, YouTube? Oh, the, these front, these uh, cameras on these laptops aren't the best. So what's going on? Just doing a live video. I really just wanted to record a video and it was easy to go live because it was on my laptop um, in the new office, in the new house. So just moved in this weekend. Um, it's been a long process. We were house hunting for a while and we did a rent back type situation. So we had actually bought the house a few months ago and we're just able to move in. So yeah, I've uh, been really busy with that, uh, packing up our old house, um, getting into this house, moving and now unpacking, as you can see boxes behind me. <laughs> and I do have uh, a dedicated office again, which is fantastic, especially for work uh, purposes, but it'll also impact YouTube a little bit as well. So yeah, I wanted to just give a brief update on that. Um, so that's where I've been. I've kind of been kind of MIA content wise. So I do apologize for that. But um, yeah, but it's good to be settled in a new home and um, hopefully everything will kind of settle down and I'll be able to get back into a routine, so to speak. So this is like looking up at me. So it's making my chin look, look fat. <laughs> um, so I have a few knives in uh, for pass around that I haven't done um, videos on that I'll get done this week. And this is the uh, Riot Exo. Um, this is an Apex pass around knife, courtesy of Kyle at uh, Red Wolf EDC. Um, it is a ridiculously fun knife to fidget with. Like, but I will tell you right now, your wife will literally hate you for this knife <laughs> because it's loud. It is so loud. Like you're sitting here doing this all the time. It's just do that. You can kind of deploy it like that. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, so I'll do a video on this soon. The sheath system sucks though, because uh, you can't carry this in your pocket. There's no pocket clip, and it would uh, probably all, honestly deploy if you had it like this accidentally, because you're not really putting pressure on the, you know, the part of the handle that kind of basically locks it in. It's all gravity based, and then you kind of lock it in with friction of your hand. Um, so they give you a sheath. It's Kydex. It's pretty crappy, and it comes with like a generic like tech lock. Not even a real tech lock and off brand. So it's kind of bulky. I would see, um, but I have seen some things on the internet about uh, people using like uh, leather slip cases. I think Tui Knives, Dave Warren sells. It's not a Tui Knife brand, but Dave Warren's a distributor. He sells a pocket slip for this, like it's leather. Um, it's, not a, it's not made for this, it's made for slip joints. But you guys have said it works for that and it's leather, has a clip on it. That would be a better option. I think uh, Jamie, is a channel viewer, Jamie Loves Nice, said he uses a yellow birch outfitters, something like that, uh, pouch. So a lot of people are finding the solutions because the Kydex solution sucks um, and you can just carry it in your pocket with a slip. Um, I could see some usefulness behind that. Uh, you can see how much I'm fidgeting with this. It's probably driving me crazy. It's just, it's addictive. Like if you, if you want a fidget knife, like a knife to fidget with that can also cut things, this is it <laughs> for sure. Super well made. Uh, really do like it. So I should wrap that up this week and have it out to the next um, person. The other one is a Leon Ma knife. It is the LM1. I did an unboxing, I believe, on these. Um, it was my last video, I believe I did. Um, do like this one quite a bit. It's an integral, 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 however you say it. Um, it's a good size. It's like the perfect size knife for me. It fits my hands. You can see there. I feel like I'm looking up. I should look down at the camera more because um, I'm looking at my screen where I can see myself. Uh, but uh, really good size. It's a little small. -er. For me, I like it. It's perfect. Uh, it's about three and a quarter inch blade, about four and a half, four and a quarter inch handle. So for me, it's like it fits my hand perfectly. And it's just a super ergonomic knife. Leon Mod definitely dials in his ergonomics. My Field Duty EDC is still one of my all-time favorite knives. And this thing has... Crazy good ergos, and you can feel that in this as well. They're very similar in the ergos. So if you like that, you might like this. Uh, this is a very expensive knife, though. It's a marble carbon fiber, um, S S uh, ninety V steel. Like it's you know got high end materials. It's an integral, so it's going to be more expensive. But it's like s close to six hundred bucks. I don't know. Um, I'll do a full video on this too. So. I don't know if I'm really allowed to carry this or not. I've been just kind of um, having it around the house and flipping it and stuff. And I was really hopeful in the move that nothing happened to them with these knives because I was moving boxes. I tried to keep them all in one place and, you know, make sure they didn't get mixed up with anything else. So, but I should have a review on that one coming up. And then 
I got this uh, this knife in. Um, this is the EOS Knives Dorado S. Um, very cool looking blade. I think the aesthetics are really cool on this guy. It kind of has a Strider-esque look to it with the opening hole there and just the blade shape in general. Um, super comfortable handle. It's a, it's a rather large handle for the size of the blade. The blade, the handle ratio is pretty poor on this knife. Not going to be, not going to be honest. Not going to be honest. Going to be honest. <laughs> uh, what's up blades and fades and top dog. I almost forgot I was doing a live chat. So I had some people joining. Um, like I said, I was really more recording this to publish it later. So if you did join cool. Um, but yeah, the Dorado from e S from EOS knives. All titanium, nice titanium backspacer, pocket clip. You got carbon fiber like inlay here, as well as here by the pivot collar. Um, so this is the DLC version. I picked this off off USA Made Blades, and I got to tell you, they ship insanely fast. Like it was in North Carolina, I'm in Utah. It got to me. And so I, like I just ordered it. I can't remember when, but it came. I think it came in two days from North Carolina, which is crazy, right? USPS is not usually that good. So a lot of it has to do with how fast they get their knives shipped out. So, but this does have a pretty good size handle for the blade, but man, is it super comfy? Like it is ergonomically like awesome. So as a good user knife, this is definitely um, going to be, so we'll see. I haven't gotten, I just got it a couple days ago. And because I've been moving, I've been using lots of other knives to, to open up box or to break down boxes from moving and such like my quiet carry drift got a lot of use. This weekend, I tried to cut a wire. I was doing something with my dryer, installing it. I think I rolled the edge on this guy. I can't tell. I think I might need to sharpen it. Um, use that a lot. And also the Field Duty UC. Saw a ton of use. And it's still sharp for my last sharpening. LMAX, man, is underrated still. Um, so those are the two mice I think I used. And then there was a couple of like, uh, the uh oh my gosh what's the name of the company artisan cutlery arian the small one uh that one got used a lot for boxes yeah so a lot of use of uh, knives <laughs> when you're moving and breaking down boxes um but yeah it's uh so that there's a few knives i got for review i should have reviews on all three of those knives coming soon thinking if there's anything else i'm reviewing right now Oh, I will have the new Mantis X system coming in, I think this week. Uh, the latest version I don't have, I did the Laser Academy review and this one I didn't have and I'm hoping it works well with the dry fire mag it's supposed to um, work with that. So we'll see, that'll be cool uh, for dry fire purposes. I need to get to the range too, I, because of moving and such, I haven't had much time to shoot. I missed some of my range days with my buddies because of this. So I'm hoping that everything gets, just, I just get settled. I can get back to my normal routine of stuff, including making content. Um, other than that, I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's any other, I don't have any other password. I will be doing a knife sale. Um, all right, let me grab them. And since you guys are early, you, got, you get first dibs, I guess. Sorry, I had to grab these. So I'm gonna put these up for sale in a separate video, but you guys are live and maybe, you know, you guys are interested. Um, I've got a bunch of things for sale. I, I gotta find the pry bar, um, but I got a Vero Fulcrum, full size for sale. Um, the bar itself is missing. <laughs> it's in my box somewhere. I'll have that for sale. I'll have this Tor Knives. Uh, it's also a, um, it's Core Knife Essentials Defender Knife fixed blade um, with the discrete carry concepts clip on it. I'll have that for sale for like 100 bucks. The Fulcrum I'm going to do for like $70. Um, again, this is totally impromptu, so if you guys are interested, just hit me up in the comments. Um, a pair of three and crew wear, um, all blocked out 
knife knife center exclusive with a smooth black G10. I did a skinny mod on it, so it's got the hump room from the handle. It's much more ergonomic. I have so many pair of threes and a lot of crew wear knives. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna get this. This one's gonna be a hundred bucks, uh, including the deep carry clip. Again, I'll do a separate video of all this. So don't worry if you missed it. Um, got a Chavez here. Notice how I have like stickers on them. I actually had a garage sale and I sold a bunch of crap and I tried to sell knives in my garage sale and that was hilarious because people were like, that much money for a knife? <laughs> I thought, wrong crowd for these kind of things. But, um, you know, thought so. So this is the Chavez um, Street Scapegoat uh, with the G10 handles and M390 blade. Super smooth action, has the skull clip on there now. It does come with this, um, a non-skull clip if you don't like the skull clip, which I'm not a huge fan of the skull clip, but on this knife, it actually works better. Um, the clip does just because it has a little less, it has a little more spring to it. So anyway, um, I'll do probably like two, I don't know, I do 270 on this. I think they're 320 new. So that's like 50 bucks off and it's in excellent condition. Um, so Chavez Street Scapegoat. What else I got? I got a couple. I got a few that I'm trying to move right now. Um, not that one. This one. I'm undecided on the other one. This is an art, artisan cutlery. This is the new. Um, what is this one called? I want to say Orion, but I could be wrong. It's the new Ray Laconico designed knife. Um, it just has the model number on it. It doesn't tell you what what it actually is called. Um, but it's a front flipper with a thumb stud as well. And it's the black G10 titanium pocket clip. It's got the RPM uh, nine steel on it. Um, pretty much unused condition. Uh, see, this is why I have to do a separate video. because I don't remember how much these go for, but I would say, hit me up if you're interested, I'll find a price. Um, it'll be cheaper than retail. Let's just put it that way and it's new. So I can't remember what, they, what I bought it for. <laughs> Yeah, it's got strength ball bearings. Nice little knife. Uh, good budget, good budget knife. So, all oh, those those will be available. I may sell my large Aryan too. I do kind of prefer the smaller one. Um, this has got the green micarta scale. Get everything's backwards. Um, titanium frame lock. It's got a super smooth action. So it's yeah. This has been a good knife too. I'm on the fence about selling this one. Um, so if you're interested, hit me up. If you're interested in any of these blades, hit me up um in the comments section or um you can email me w tyler hansen at gmail.com is my email the, the hansen's h-a-n-s-e-n -S -S -E it's all one word w tyler hansen at gmail that's my email if you bought nice from me before you know that uh, if not then hit me up by email if you're interested in any of these so yeah guys that's gonna wrap it up for this little live uh video update it's just here in the new office obviously needs to be unpacked more um, but I think I know where all my knife stuff is. I think I've got my, like my little shelf thing there that has like my drivers and my, you know, KPL stuff like that in it. I've got my case over here on my, um, file cabinet. So yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm kind of rambling at this point. So I'm gonna wrap it up. Thanks for those that join live. Uh, just totally impromptu, not scheduled. So I totally get you, uh, you know, not a lot of people are going to be honest, but this is more to, to, to schedule for later. So Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.